Hello, everybody. I'm Malcolm Hawker. I'm the head of data strategy with Prophecy Software, and I am your trusted advisor on all things governance, data strategy, and master data management. I thought for sure that I had made a video somewhere along the lines explaining what master data is and isn't, um, but I can't find it. So <laughs> we're going to cover that topic today, and I'm going lo-fi. I'm going analog. I'm going to go old school here and uh, share some, some kind of graphics. Truth be told, I, f I have a whiteboard somewhere, but it doesn't actually show up very well in the camera, and I don't have a big enough, beefy enough marker to make it actually relevant. So this is my assistant today. It's an Amazon box and some, something I printed online. Anyway, what's master data? Well, visually speaking, master data is the stuff right in the middle of this Venn diagram. Right there. We're in the red. <laughs> Imagine these circles as sources of data. Maybe it's source one, source two, source three. Maybe it's even representative of a process uh, or a function, marketing, finance, procurement. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. This is, this is, this is just kind of you know, more conceptual than anything else. But master data is the data that is shared widely across processes, systems, applications, workflows that needs consistent structure, needs consistent definition, needs consistent quality, needs, first and foremost, consistent meaning, consistent definitions, right? So what we call semantics in the data space. So when you've got data that is kind of flowing everywhere, that flows <coughs> between a CRM system and maybe an ERP. A great example is like maybe a contract. You, you sell something and there's an attribute of that contract that needs to be consistently defined. Maybe it's, it's information related to a supplier where you're in a procurement system and then that data flows into an ERP uh, for, for a bill uh, to, to be issued or, or some other process within an ERP. Maybe revenue is recognized there. But where data is flowing between processes and between systems and you need some sort of connective tissue. That connective tissue is your master data. Your business cannot run without it. If data here is defined differently than here or is structured different or it has different data quality, it's going to be impossible for you to have a consistent holistic version, version, view <laughs> of your suppliers, your customers, your assets, your locations. This is kind of feeling kind of good. It feels like I'm, I'm, I'm dancing with my Amazon box. Uh, but that's what master data is, and it needs those consistent governance policies applied to it. Master data management is the discipline of managing this data. It's the discipline of applying consistent quality standards and, and, and definitions and structures and quality expectations to data that flows everywhere. So one thing to keep in mind here, guys, is that master data is inherently both operational. These can be systems, CRM. ERP, procurement, mar digital marketing, doesn't matter. So it's inherently operational and it's analytical. So you could think of this as maybe your data lake, your data swamp, your data whatever, your Hadoop cluster doesn't matter, table one, table two, table three, doesn't matter. But this could be an analytical infrastructure as well where you've got data that is defined or structured or labeled differently across source. So, you know, source one, source two, source three. I didn't make really good use of my, well, that's showing up backwards on the camera. All okay, right, you get my point. <laughs> the data in the middle is your master data, right there, and it needs consistent definition structure. I guess you could ask the question of that, well, what about the stuff in here? Um, you could also consider that master data. Anytime data is shared across systems, processes, workflows, applications, it needs those common rules. Maybe another way to look at this is the stuff in the middle here, that's enterprise-wide. That's flowing everywhere. It's across all systems, processes, applications, workflows. And the data here is maybe more regional in nature, where it's not maybe used across the entire enterprise, but it is an absolutely positively critical thing to enable more of a regional process, where there's two departments or two tables or two applications or two work workflows that need to be stitched together. A great example of more of a regional process here would be that uh, quote to cash, where it goes from sales and marketing in a CRM to an ERP, right? People in procurement may not need to know about that process, but either way, it needs consistent definition, structure, you name it. So whether that master data happens at an enterprise-wide level or more of a regional level, it still needs those consistent governance policies applied to it. That's what MDM does. MDM applies those consistent, MDM as a discipline, applies those consistent rules to it, whether the data is being used operationally or whether it's being used analytically. Now, the data here in these kind of 
you know, outside of the overlap. Well, that's what we would call application data, or, or maybe you could call it more local data that doesn't need consistent business rules, doesn't need to have rules that are the same or governance policies that are the same between sales and between finance. It's totally local. It only exists within that application or that process or that flow. That means that the governance of it, the rules related to it can be totally local and can be totally defined by an individual business unit or an individual operating uh, group within a company. So think of data across three levels, enterprise wide, Right? Everybody needs to know it, it, consistent rules across the entire enterprise. Customer is a class example here, folks. More regional data that flows maybe between two or three processes, but doesn't is not necessarily enterprise-wide. And then local data. So enterprise-wide, regional, local, there's three ways to look at the data, and they all have different rules. They will all necessarily potentially have different rules. This is where master data management comes in, where you can have kind of maybe different rules of the truth based on how that data is being used, whether it's being used widely or just within an individual system. So thank you to my trusted uh, assistant uh, and for going analog today with me. Uh, that's master data. That's master data management. So if you've got any more questions related to this at all, connect with me on LinkedIn. Please, folks, I'm out there posting content like this all the time. I'm happy to answer any questions you've got about data governance, data management, data strategy, master data management, you name it, I'm here to help. Thanks all.